Welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Stand Upright Rebooted. I haven't played this game for a long time, and we will be checking out the new updates that were added. There are two new stands, Weather Report and Crazy Diamond Over Heaven. We will be obtaining these two stands and checking them out. There is also a new secondary called Spin, which we will check out as well. Let's first take a look around the map and see if there's anything new. The ways item spawn seem to have changed, and the items don't drop onto the ground anymore. Just take a look at this Roka. It is about to ascend to heaven and become a holy Roka. I honestly prefer the old item's physics over this, but I'm sure the devs have their reason. Anyways let's keep looking. We found Gyro Zeppeli. He sells spin and horses. I had no idea that he sold horses, so I immediately bought one. It's a mount that you can use by typing slash mount in chat. The horse model looks pretty good, but there aren't any running animations for the horse, making it look super weird. The horse's speed is also very fast, and it's nearly uncontrollable. A good thing about the horse is that you can use it to get up to high places, which will be helpful when you are fighting a boss. Alright, now let's buy spin and test it out. There are 3 skills for spin, and they are pretty much the same. The only difference is the color and damage. The skills ragdoll and stun your enemy, so it's kind of useful, but overall I think vampire is still better. Welp, that was spin. Now let's obtain the 2 new stands. You can obtain weather report from regular stand arrows. The chances of you getting it is 1.5%, so it's a pretty rare stand. We will also need Crazy Diamond to obtain its over heaven version, so I will be back once I get something rare. Oh my god! Wow! We got something rare quicker than I expected. Sadly the stand has no trays, so I'm just going to rocker it. I got Crazy Diamond right after Rockoing Silver Chariot OVA. It also got a strong tray, which is pretty good. I guess sacrificing Silver Chariot gave us some luck. I had never checked out this stand before, so I took a few minutes to look at the skills. The skills are okay, and the healing mode looks very useful if you play with friends. Now let's use Dio's diary and evolve Crazy Diamond into its over heaven form. I did not expect Crazy Diamond to have the same stand model after revolving, and I'm slightly disappointed. A small color change would have been better than this. Most of the skills are the same, but the damage was buffed. The only skill that changed was Crazy Wall. You can now build a very tall wall with this skill. This stand is more like a meme, and it doesn't feel like a proper stand. Heaven Ascended Jotaro is about to spawn soon, so let's see if we can kill him with this stand. I haven't entered the inner sanctum for a long time, and the developers changed the entire thing. I like the terrain around the house, but I'd prefer the old castle over the new house. It just doesn't give the same vibes anymore. The new house also lacks a lot of details when you compare it to the castle. The bridge also looks very clean, and there are no more torches on it. I honestly like the old inner sanctum more. The change is just really unnecessary. Anyways Jotaro is about to spawn in a few seconds, so let's get ready. Alright Jotaro spawned. Now let's kill him. I'm just rusty at the game. This is totally not skill issue. He is finally dead. It took us around 3 minutes to kill him, which is pretty fast for a stand this week. Jotaro also dropped Dio's diary, so we basically made profits with this stand. Now let's leave and obtain weather report. One thing they should have added is a way to exit the inner sanctum without resetting your character. I find it a little weird to not have a way to teleport out when you can teleport in. 
crazy diamond over heaven was pretty disappointing, but let's see if weather report is any better. By the way, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you are enjoying the video, it helps me out a lot and I will greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys once I get something good. Bruh. Wow, we got one of the worst stands and attributes Steve in the entire fingers! game. The tray is rare, but it only gives health, which is really useless in a game where damage matters the most. I'm going to roker it, and keep stabbing myself with more arrows. It's kind of insane that we already got two stands rarer than weather report, and we still haven't got it yet. Let's hope that I won't spend a few hours getting this stand. That was close. I nearly rocked weather report. That would have been bad if I did. Who knows how much longer I will be here trying to get another one. The stand model looks surprisingly detailed, and I really like it. Now let's hope the skills will be as good as the stand model. This skill is basically heavy punch, but you charge at your enemies. The frogs can actually jump, which is really cool. Those were all the skills for weather report, and I have to say that I'm pleasantly surprised. The skills are unique, and I like them a lot. The animations and effects are obviously not good, but it fits the game's old style, so I find that as a plus. Anyways let's try to defeat Johnny Jester with weather report. Our stand doesn't have an attribute, so it's going to be quite hard. I'm going to buy spin, so it can be slightly possible. Now let's wait for Johnny to spawn. A few minutes later. Johnny spawned. I have no idea on how I will beat this guy. Let's do this. Fatality. I would like to say that Thunder Cloud is the worst move for weather report. The cloud's size and range will never hit a moving object, and you are better off not using it. We somehow killed Johnny. I actually thought that it was impossible, but apparently it is. Now there is just one more thing that I need to check, and that is a new quest. This quest is located in the sewers. I've wanted a new quest ever since I reached level 800, and the developers finally added one. It's still a shame that they banned Macris from being used, because it would really help a lot. The rewards for this quest are insane compared to the previous quest, and I can complete it in less than a minute with weather report. I can probably grind to level 1000 now, but I rather not waste my time. There is another mob that was added in the sewers. I don't see any other quest givers in here, so I'm not sure what his purpose is. Anyways let's switch to a legendary stand, and see how fast we can actually complete the quest. <laughs> <laughs> that took us like 10 seconds. I don't know why, but legendary the hand requiem feels weaker than before. Maybe it's because I haven't played the game for a long time, 
and I lost the feelings of using overpowered stance. But either ways, this is going to be the end of the video. I'm honestly very happy with most of the things that were added, except for Crazy Diamond over heaven. The stand just feels very lazy, and there are a lot of things that could be added to the stand. I understand that the developers want to keep the game similar to stand upright, but I think it should be fine if they make minor changes to the model, like the color. I really hope that they won't add another stand like this in the future. Anyways that's it for this video. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of my uploads. I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.